In Ecuador, a country located in South America, traversed by the Equatorial Line and the Andes Mountain Range, Petrobras has conducted operations in the exploration, production, and transport of petroleum since 1996. Block 18 consists of the Pata and Palo Azul fields, with a concessionary area of 110,000 hectares, located in the province of Oriana, in the Ecuadorian Amazon region, 300 kilometers from Quito, the capital of Ecuador. In the Palo Azul field, Petrobras constructed a new CPF, Central Production Facility, in 2006. The indispensable electric energy used for the operation of the new CPF and well pads was supplied by portable generators running on diesel, which incurred an extremely high cost of operation. Natural gas with a percentage of 77% of CO2 was burned using flares. In the year 2006, Petrobras Ecuador developed an alternative source for producing energy for their petroleum fields, which eliminated the consumption of diesel, took advantage of the gas from flares, reduced the CO2, methane, and nitrogen emissions, and which significantly optimized operational costs. The objective of the project was to construct a central power generation plant of 17.5 megawatts, which would make it possible to burn 100% of the natural poor gas. It consists of a system of combined cycle, which gathers gas from flares with no special treatment at all. It works as a combustible so that in the state-of-the-art boilers, water vapor is created and through turbines, electricity is generated. It is the first time that this type of generation source has been used in the petroleum fields of Ecuador. The installation consists of a dual system of gas and crude, formed by two boilers and two 6 megawatt generator turbines. The boilers have a special burning technology, which has the ability to burn the gas, the crude, or the mix of the two combustibles. The system is designed to burn the mixture of poor gas with a high CO2 content, and one part of rich gas, which comes from a vapor recuperation unit. This way, the boilers produce high pressure and high temperature water vapor, with which they fuel the turbines attached to the electric generators. The energy produced goes to the well pads and at the CPF plant through an underground power distribution line, which is administered by an electrical SCADA system using the latest technology. As a backup energy, a 5.38 megawatt reciprocating motor is utilized, which can use both diesel and crude combustible. The generation center monitors daily the emissions while complying with all legal and environmental regulations in Ecuador for the use of gas, petroleum, and water. The environmental advantage is eliminating the emission of approximately 800,000 tons of CO2 into the environment during the time of operation contract. This makes the operation more efficient and produces important economic savings. Due to the fact that the project is so profitable, that it directly utilizes the natural gases of the wells without incurring provisional treatment, and that it generates energy while avoiding the flaring and venting of gases into the environment, the project could be considered a prototype of sustainability, which can be replicated in any petroleum fields in the world. This also makes it possible to take advantage of gases from flares and mitigate the emission of greenhouse gases. Following with the objective of complying with the commitment to environmental responsibility, Petrobras foresees the best possible results adding value and technological innovation through investment projects focused on minimizing environmental impact. <laughs>